identified. Grappling arms deployed. Easy does it. Someone's got to clean up all the junk floating around out there. Oh, this is just grunt work, John. to do a high-rise rescue and I get garbage duty. You always moan you never get to take Thunderbird 3 out enough. Me and my big mouth. Uh, what was that? There's something up ahead. Scanners aren't picking anything up. Are you sure it isn't dirt on your portal? Again? Nope, it's out there, all right. And that means I get to go out for a wonder. Any excuse. Are you getting this, Thunderbird 5? Affirmative. Running a trace, Thunderbird 3. score with this thing, Brains? It's a stealth mine, left over from the global conflict of 2040. That's why it was invisible to our scanners. Powerful enough to blast a mid-sized ship out of orbit. And now it's been activated. It enters a self-destruct sequence if it loses contact with the command network, which was mothballed in 2043. We have 30 minutes before that thing goes off. If we can locate the kill code, we can deactivate the mine manually. Problem solved. Or do I detect a butt? With the command network offline, it will perceive any nearby vessel as the enemy. I'm detecting a cluster of spacecraft heading toward the debris field. If one of them strays too close to the mine, it could target them. And boom. So I'm going to have to keep it busy until you find the kill code. Looks that way. You'll have to get it locked onto Thunderbird 3 instead of something else. How about I drag this baby into deep space and detonate it somewhere out there? Good plan. Just be careful. Right. I'll carefully fly towards the floating bomb. Firing main thrusters in three, two, one. Let the chase begin. I'm on the kill code. Gravitational trigger. If it leaves the Earth's orbit, it explodes. Oh, well, that's just great. And I run the figures. If it detonates now, Thunderbird 3 will be in the blast radius. Fine. No leaving orbit. I just have to keep it busy. Shouldn't be a problem. Alan. I know. I see it. Okay, I'm into the digital archives. 
but I'm gonna need the mine's unique ID number to access the kill code. But the mine can't be scanned. The only way to view its ID number is to find its tag on the fuselage. I'm on it. Killing main thrusters. The ID is X-Ray Zulu 157. Fire main booster. This isn't a game. Oh, relax, John. That thing's a stupid machine. I've got the brains, and I've got the moves. Alan, I've seen you dance. I'm cross-referencing the ID with the digital archives. The good news is I have located the kill code to shut down the mine. And the bad news is? It's a scan of a paper copy. A bad scan. The last number is unreadable. Just try zero through nine till we get the right number. You only get one try. A wrong number will be seen as a hacking attempt. The mine will self-destruct. We need to find where the original paper records are stored. If we can locate that, we can access the kill code and deactivate the mine. Okay, and how long is that going to take? It shouldn't take too long. I'll get right back to you. Whoa, that's not good. Uh, multiple vessels ahead. <laughs> Any ideas? It's hard to determine without reliable data. Yeah, brains! That ship is c closer to the mine than Thunderbird 3. Oh, no, no! Brains, how do I get it back on my tail? Get very close to the mine and it will retarget you. Oh, great. Negative Thunderbird 3. It's still targeting the other ship. Careful, Alan. You did it! It's retargeted you! The nuke's on my tail again. Lucky me! Now somebody get me that kill code! Yeah, about that. We've got a situation. The original files are in a storage facility under London. Deep under London. This place is huge. reached the Consolidated File Archive, London branch. Yes, hello. I need your help. For an help. existing inquiry, tap here. For a new inquiry, tap here. I don't believe it. This is going to need a personal a touch. Please... Hello, John. Lady Penelope, Alan's in trouble. Can you make a quick stop for us? Consider it done. Send me the details and we're on our way. Turn the car around, Barker. I have some international rescue business to attend to. We're almost home. It won't take but a moment to drop off the mongrel. No time, I'm afraid. You won't mind holding Sherbet. Not at all, my lady. I'm glad I brought my gloves. Thunderbird 3, this is Thunderbird 1. I hear things are rough up there, Alan. Ah, Scott. Everything's fine. Are you sure? You sound tired. Back to work. I'm keeping an eye on your situation. Copy that, Scott. Copy that. Oh, John, what are you doing? How hard is it to find one number? You belide it. Get out of it. That's quite all right, Parker. Are you 
you sure this is the place? Quite sure, my lady. the Consolidated File Archive, London branch. Ah, yes. For an existing inquiry tap here, oh, for a new inquiry sake. tap here. Can I help you? I'm here to retrieve a paper copy record file for mm. Orbital Mime, reference... Do you have an access retrieval form? I'm sorry? You can't get to the files without the proper paperwork. And how do I get the proper paperwork? In a hurry? You have to make a submission on a scheduled retrieval day. Oh, this is ridiculous. Which is the first Thursday of the month. We need to get a look at this file. This is a life and death situation. I'm sorry, I think my job's a bit more important than some life and death situation. Thank you. John, they're more than a little stubborn down here. We really need that code, Lady Penelope. Don't worry. We're not giving up. Take the lock, Parker. With pleasure, my lady. Thunderbird 5, any updates on the kill code? Everything is under control. Yeah, well, it better be. We've only got 15 minutes left. got in here. The door was ajar. I don't think so. The doors are titanium and triple locked. I'm getting my manager. Yes. Yes, you get him. That ought to buy Parker another few minutes. to the main archives. F.A.B. Uh, Grey Ninja? Just like old times. Head to your left until you hit a junction. Cool. Blimey. You're gonna have to get to the very end of the facility. You wish someone showed up out front early while asking for a file? Just out of the blue? It's not the first first day of the month. I know. They didn't even have the proper forms. Some people. If you run along the dock below you... You should be able to get there undetected. <laughs> oh, be big! Not seen that one yet, no. Is it fast? Well, it's no Thunderbird, but yeah. Great, it's right behind you. Just 30 stories up. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> All right, you're nearly there. So hard. Ah. Grady Jiria, I've got the fail. Good job. All right, Parker. What's the number? <clears throat> Go. 
Can we help you, sir? Sorry, Master Judd, but I appear to have hit a slight snag. You holding up, Thunderbird 3? Oh, everything's just peachy here, John. Yep, I'm getting chased by a nuclear bomb. How are you? Don't worry, Alan. Penelope and Parker are on the case. We'll have that code any second now. I really think we should hand him over to the GDF, sir. Nonsense. I recognized our guests as soon as they arrived. This is Lady Penelope Creighton Ward and her constant companion, the beloved, world-famous Sherbert. My children are big fans. But, sir, this is a major break in protocol. There are stages to be followed. We'll make an exception this time. I'd rather not cause a scene. Now, leave us alone while I sort this out. (sighs) So, uh, how can I help you? Mr... Please, call me Oliver. Oliver, we need permission to access the archives as a matter of urgency. I understand, lady. Please, call me Penelope. I understand, Penelope. But unfortunately, there are forms that have to be completed. In triplicate. And then have to be officially stamped. The committee meets on, uh, Retrieval Thursday. <laughs> mm. I'll handle this, my lady. I know exactly what Oliver means, and it's not going to be pleasant for either of us. John, what's going on? Is that number coming or not? I don't know. I've lost contact with Lady Penelope and Parker. Well, I've only got two minutes before this thing explodes. We're just going to have to pick a number. Ellen, it's too risky. You've only got a one in ten chance. Let's just give them a little more time. Oh, great. More vessels ahead. Targeted again. Alan, what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? It's too late, John. We're gonna have to take a gamble on that last number. Just that last one. Time to pick our lucky number. Seven is lucky, right? Here's hoping. Ten seconds. Okay, here goes nothing. Lady Penelope! Alan, wait! Tell me you got that number. It's three, John. Are you sure, Penelope? Three. The number is three. But you saved the day. Actually, it was Sherbert and the Grey Ninja who did all the hard work. A couple more pictures, Oliver. Oh, go on. My kids are going to be so impressed. So what happens to my little friend now? Once we get it back to Tracy Island, I can run a complete analysis. Our detectors can be updated to locate any more mines out there and put them out of action. Permanently. That'll be a big job for someone. You can count me in. I thought collecting space junk was grunt work. I've got a slightly different perspective now. Good to hear. Now let's get you back home. <laughs> 